In this video, we will see a couple of use cases that describe how to simplify deallocation of assets, and how to insert request IDs while sending emails. While working on this kind of work order, the goal is to be able to see the inline assets that are already allocated and select the ones that need to be deallocated. To achieve this goal, in the dev environment, you must create a progressive view that must pop out. This progressive view shows the old assets. Create a trigger that can invoke the pop out. Adjust the workflow to move the data between the pop out and the asset management tab. Let us see how this can be done. Create a trigger in your customized smart IT. Make selections. Get the OTP. As you can see, the assets are deallocated. You can open the mobile port view, which is responsive, in which you can see the assets triggered. You can also see the Asset Management tab. Let us now see how to insert a request ID while sending emails for incidents. In Developer Studio, modify the workflow, such that you can insert the request ID when the email pop-out is going to show up. Let's see how it looks. You see here, every time the email compose dialog is shown, the request ID starts showing up. Any conversation from now on, will have this request ID tagged in. You can find detailed information about progressive views at docs.bmc.com. Hope this video helped you understand the progressive web application in BMC Helix ITSM. Thanks for watching.